Hello and welcome to another geopolitical analysis video. Please like, subscribe and share the video posted below. As I mentioned in my previous video, Turkey issued Navtex in Hellenic waters with the intention of seismic surveys to drill, followed by Navy combat ships. It is clear that international law condemns this as an illegal act to exploit for economic reasons or to extract energy resources in another nation's continental shelf. Greece and Cyprus issued an anti-Navtex to cancel the one that Turkey issued a few days ago in the region to deflect the Turkish Provocation Act and send a strong message to Turkey that Greece is not Libya, Syria or Iraq as Turkey never confronts tactical armies but crippled regions with mercenaries to blackmail destabilized governments. French President Macron sent in Greek a message calling for a South European coalition to secure the interests of European nations and Greece by maintaining the stability in the Mediterranean to thwart the Turkish provocations. Alongside with Cypriot President Anastasiadis, condemned the recent hostile acts and called for the EU to put a decisive stop to Turkey's illegal activity. Also, U.S. Ambassador Payet arrived in Alexandrupoli and stated how the exclusive economic zone and continental shelf of the Aegean Isles such as Castellorizo and Megisti and other Aegean Isles must be respected as international law of sea states. Rather definitive was U.S. Senator Menendez stating that Turkey is the only country contesting the rights of Hellenic continental shelf of its Aegean islands such as Castellorizo. Interestingly enough, German newspaper Bild announced how Chancellor Merkel had something to do with the de-escalation of the tension between Turkey and Greece. This simply is not true as Turkey, on top of the NAVTEX that was issued illegally to conduct seismic surveys, has announced missile testing, clearly testing the patience of the Hellenic tolerance. Merkel's recent few months presence has been hinting for a possible return and has issued this as a PR if you want, or propaganda to exalt her as a peacekeeper influence in the Aegean dispute. Thanks so much for watching and please tune in for more news.